Okay, this is my example for Allison on how to do Polaroid pictures in Photoshop. Let's open up Photoshop. There's my old example. We're going to open up a new uh, picture. I'm going to set it to 800 by 600 and then click OK. Okay, so here's our window. Uh, I've got a picture here that I want to use in uh, Paintbrush. So I'm going to click Edit, Select All, then click on Edit and put Copy. I'm going to go into Photoshop, click on Edit, and then Paste. And there's our picture. Now, for the Polaroid outline, we want a rectangle. Drag that around our picture. Okay, so it's black at the moment, so we need to make that white. There we go. Um, right, right click on that and go to blending options. Tick stroke. Uh, change the color to black unless you want a red outline. Uh, and then change the size to 1. And then click OK. And that will basically put a little line around our picture. Move my layer up into there just like that. And uh, let's write some text. Let's try look at my cans. It's a bit big, so we'll make it a little bit smaller. That's a bit too small. Ah, that looks about right. And then we'll move it to where it should be. About there. Okay, now if we select all those, go to Edit, Transform, and then Skew. And then it's just a case of dragging these lines here. Um, and as you can see, it changes the picture. So we're going to do that to both edges. Yeah, it looks about right. You can always fine tweak it and then just kind of move it to where you want. Uh, move it into the middle. And then hit the return key to save the changes. Now we're going to select the uh, rectangle that we made earlier. Right click and go to blending options then tick the box that says drop shadow and then just tweak the settings in there just to get your shadow uh, exactly how you want it you can find tweak it and do whatever you want to just get it the way you want it I think that looks about okay and there's you know pretty much the uh, finished thing you can also put like a border on the other picture if you want, just to make it look a little bit nicer, but it's not essential. There we go. Then click File, Save As, and I'm pretty sure you know how to do all this. I usually use JPEG, it's best for the internet. I'm going to save it as, it's as easy as that. Then click Save. I'll move the quality up just a little bit higher and uh, save that. And there we go, there's a <coughs> finished thing pretty much. And there we are, easy as that.